And on the mound, the big unit, Randy Johnson, and he's a man on a mission today. On the mound for the Orioles, Mike Messina, and he's been one of the best in baseball, and he certainly displayed that on the big stage in game one of this series last Wednesday. The Orioles batting order, Anderson in center, Reveille at second. Uh, it was one of those afternoon games, and I was batting in the two hole behind Brady. Davey Johnson again, and so some of his biggest hitters on the bench. We got all-star players that are on the bench. You know, Hall of Famers sit on the bench. You know, it was pretty impressive. I appreciate him putting me in there because it did take guts. Palmero, Alomar, Sirhoff, and Baines all sitting against the big unit. Yeah, there were some question marks to that. Davey Johnson, you know, it took some guts for him to put that lineup out there. Clearly, you're sitting Alomar and playing me. You're putting your butt on the line there. There's going to be a lot of talk about that, right? When you have such a disparity between players. You know, you got a utility guy and you got a guy who's, you know, surefire Hall of Famer, right? Really tough right now for the hitters to, to get a good look at the ball. Johnson himself now starting to be engulfed in the shadows out at the mound. That ball also has a brief moment of sunlight just before it gets to the plate and then back into the shadows again. And uh, it was, you know, it's kind of like a shadowy day. And you heard the talk about how tough it's going to be to see. What you have to do is block that out of your mind and concentrate harder on picking up his release point. Jeff Rebele and a foul. He's going to strike you out. Like, he's going to get at least one guy. He, he's going to get everybody once and some guys twice and maybe some guys three times. Chases the high hard one, and uh, that was more like a Randy Johnson fastball right there. So you just got to get that one hit. You got to really, like, make him work. The slider back to the screen. Two went to the count remains. Ended up, uh, got a 2-2 two -two pitch that was uh, off the plate, called a ball. And that one just missing on the outside. Thought I had him out on a couple of pitches. I came back in here and looked on the, uh, you know, tape, and I felt I had him out. And, you know, it doesn't matter what I think or what the videotape shows me. Played up by Dale Scott. That one looked like it was awfully close. Yeah, I played against him a lot in the minor leagues as well. So I'd seen him probably 50 plus times in the minor leagues. And for whatever reason, I don't know if it's my approach or what, but every time we played him, whatever team I was on, we've always done well. You got to get him early. Uh, once good pitchers get locked in, it's kind of over. I got the 3-2 and got a fastball and was able to, uh, like I like to say, a blind squirrel finds an acorn and uh, put it in the left center. Fastball hit high and deep into left field. This one is way right back there. This one is gone. A home run for Reveille. Jeff Reveille has gone deep. You come up to the plate in a major league ball game, and uh, they, they must somebody thinks that you can probably play, and he can play. I always knew he could play, but uh, you know, he ended up hitting a home run. And chip your hat to him. You know, you got it takes uh, 25 guys to win, and uh, uh, Jeff Rivale uh, deserved the opportunity. I mean, he, he stood in real tall when Robbie wasn't in the lineup, and did a great job, and I'm proud of him. Jeff Rivale had hit only four home runs in 228 at bats this year. In fact, he'd only had 13 homers in his whole career in more than 1,200 at bats. I mean, who's to think that his home run would dictate or be the, the final outcome of the game? Well, it's only the first inning. We got eight more times to bat, and I like our chances with our team. Mike Mussina was unbelievable. They couldn't get to him. And he struck him out. And he just pitched lights out. Two strikes to a -Rod. And down he goes on the shot. You see, it was unbelievable during that time. That was the best I've seen him throw. Like, he was just nails. Mike seems to go unnoticed, uh, you know, at times. And uh, we all in this clubhouse know how special he is and know what a great talent he is. He struck it out of the knuckle curveball. In the dirt, Messina strikes out the side. You see, now outpitched, you know, uh, Randy Johnson, which is hard to do, right? Because he's one of the best in the game ever. Mike Messina, it's his win. If Myers can hang up. The Mariners without a hit since the second inning. And this should do it. 40. The Orioles have won the series.
What was going through your head when you saw Rebelay hit that ball in, in the early inning? Well, I took all the pressure off the naysayers, you know, because they, then they couldn't keep talking about me the whole game. Well, what in the world is Johnson doing again? So, uh, you know, I'll always uh, remember him for that. The Orioles in 97, man. I was glad to be a part of it. It was just a great experience for me, just being on a great winning team like that and knowing how good we were. Uh, it was it was fun to be a part of that in Baltimore.